Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I wanted to jump on again today because when I did the review of my gorgeous night wig by Ellen Villa yesterday, I realised that these little bits of hair were actually popping out of the wig through the whole review. And this is because my natural hair is growing back right now. As you can see, I can wear it like this when I go out sometimes. Not that I do, I wear my wigs. But you know, it's coming into more of a style now. And these longer pieces are just really struggling to stay back. So I'm finding that if I'm not careful, they're popping out of the wig. Now, if I was wearing that wig to go out and about in, I would have checked in the mirror before I went out and seen it. Because even though I was on camera, because I was talking and moving around, I was distracted and didn't see him popping out. But when I watched it back last night and got it ready for, you know, the channel, I realised, oh, them bits are popping out and I need to do another little video. So I just wanted to jump on and do an extra bonus video showing you again what it's like to wear the beautiful night wig and how I can prep my hair better because I feel that now, you know, I need to, when I'm wearing a shorter style or, you know, just be aware of these little bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my hair for this wig first of all. So now today, because I'm putting this wig on, I've decided because I'm putting it on, I'm going to wear it all day. I'm going to put it into three ponytails. So I've got these tiny little bands and I've got like a more, you know, kind of comfier bands here. But these are more, they've got more, you know, kind of traction or, you know, elastic or, you know, they kind of take the hair back better. So I've put one there, it's definitely out of the way now as you can see. And then I'm doing the same with this side because it's getting rid of them pieces. Otherwise they're just falling out and you know my hair is growing really well. It may seem like it's taken a while, I don't know if it's taken a while or it's normal. It's just doing its own thing but it's growing back really nice. So it's in the best condition of its life, it feels healthy. And it's really nice to see this natural grey or white coming through this kind of salt and pepper look. But I want to make sure, you know, when I'm putting my wig on, it looks good. It's not got my own hair falling out of it. So that feels better now. So much better. So if I show you now in the mirror, there's no way my hair is getting out of that wig. And, you know, you might be concerned about these bobbly bits thinking, won't they stick out? But because it's a curly style, it will mask that. Now, this wig's gorgeous. Maybe you even missed the review with this. And this is the first time you've seen me do this wig anyway. This is Night by Ellen Villa in Silver Blonde Rooty. Now, this isn't a colour I would normally buy, but this was brand new, reduced half price on eBay with tags. And I thought, wow, too good to pass up. And that's why I went for it. So... She's got this gorgeous machine teasing on the top of the wig. I've sewn two wig clips in to secure the wig. It's got all this gorgeous breathable wefting at the back of the wig and the label. And it's got the Velcro style <clears throat> adjusters. And look at the colour. It's gorgeous. It's a really kind of bright blonde. You know, when I'm looking at this wig, I don't really see this as a silver. It may look silver on. But it's more of a platinum blonde, in my opinion, when I'm looking at it, even though it's called silver blonde rooted. So, you know, I was kind of expecting it to be very silver, but it isn't. It's a really nice kind of silver platinum blonde with this gorgeous dark root that makes it very sexy. So let's get her on. I'm excited to put her on again. And, you know, I'm going to wear her throughout the day. So when you put a wig on, get your thumbs at the back where the label is and put the front of the wig about there. This isn't a lace front, but it's got a tiny little bit of lace on the party in there, just to give it more of a natural scalp effect on the party. And I'm going to put the wig on, I'm going to align the ear tabs and bring it up to my hairline and clip it in. Oh, see what I mean? My hair right now, it's um, I've got to be careful what I'm doing with my own natural hair to make sure it's in this wig. So, tucked in, feels nice. Can't really tell I've got those bobbles there either. So it's aligned and I'm going to lift it up to my hairline. It's very quick experience putting a wig on if you do it right, you know. There's no need to mess around with these. You know, you put it on, tuck in your hair, align the tabs, lift it up to your hairline, which is about there. 
And you know, if you're wondering, where's my hairline? <clears throat> you know, you just put your, your hands like that and it shows you where it is. You know, you can look in the mirror and have a good look and make sure you've got it in the right place. It's perfect, that is for me. So you can see now there's no way my hair it was coming out here before. So in the blonde, there was like bits of brown mixed in. And, you know, I should have seen it really, but I was so busy talking about this amazing wig, I just missed it. And that's why I thought, yeah, I want to jump on again, because this here is actually the rooting of the wig. See this here, that's the rooting of the wig, it's not my hair. My hair is tucked in there. So if I show you with the mirror first of all, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, my kind of ponies there, my ponytails, I've got one there, one there. <clears throat> very croaky today. <clears throat> very hot in here though today. So, you know, I've got two ponies there, but because it's a curly style, you can't see it anyway. Now, I like this wig because it's got all this volume. So, obviously, you know, what I can do is scrunch it up. So, if I get my water, I'm just going to put a little bit of water onto her to give her a little bit of cool definition, which I like on this wig. You may like it more sleeker or straighter. And it just gets all the fibres out of the way as well. But I quite like her with a little bit of cool definition like this. And she has got this little sweepy bang, so you could easily cut that into a bang if you wanted to, but I kind of like it sweeped over. I think it's very pretty. I just love the style on this one, really nice. So let me show you from the side, I like it like this. So this is how I'm gonna wear it today. So from the side, beautiful. From the back, lovely. And from this side. So let me just check that you can't see. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not really going anywhere today anyway. I'm just kind of wearing this around the house today. I've got things to do on the computer. So, you know, it's nice. But I mean, my bobble's there. So because of the curl, it just gets rid of it. You can't see it anyway. So, great. So happy with this now. Just wanted to jump on and show you her again because, you know, I didn't want you to see. What are them? Bits of brown sticking out of that wiglet. What's going on with your hair? And I'm just making sure now that, you know, when I'm putting my wig on, all of my hair is in. Because this looks much better. I mean, they look good anyway when I did the review yesterday. But, you know, I could see those bits. And obviously, if I'd have gone out in it, no one probably would have even noticed unless they were up close to me. And they may have thought, oh, I've done something with my hair. You know, that I'd left brown bits or it, it didn't look wiggy because my own hair was sticking out. It just, you know, it was perhaps like thinking, what's going on, you know? Is, is there meant to be a brown bit there, you know? Because there's no way you can tell this is a wig. You really can't. It's supernatural. You know, especially with this root as well. And the hairline's so great. Even though it's not a full lace front, it doesn't need to be. You know, I've seen some people talking about this wig and wondering why there's only a tiny bit of lace. You know, talking about it, saying, oh, have they done it for cost cutting or, you know, to, because they can't be bothered to do it. And it doesn't need it. You know, this has got a bang going through it anyway. I mean, even if you put it off your face, still very natural. And I love the kind of, you know, looks with the lace front and without a lace front. So it really doesn't bother me at all. You know, if it bothered you, just put the bang down, you know, or even trim the little bang in. And then... You haven't got to worry about that. Not that you have to worry anyway, because it's just done really well. So personally, I like this wig. And this is definitely a wig I want to get in another colour. And, you know, I kind of want it in the candy blonde rooted. So that's probably going to be the colour I get. Even though it is still a blonde, you know, you think I'd get a darker one. But, you know, if I was going to buy this wig new, because obviously I got this from eBay and that's why it was this colour, because I didn't have a choice in the colour. And I would have perhaps bought the, the wig in whatever colour it was in because it was new off price and I wanted to get one and see what it was like. Then, you know, if I was buying one, it would be that one. It would be the candy blonde rooted, which as far as I know, what people are saying about it is very similar to the melted marshmallow. But love this one. So this is a night wig. I'm just to make sure I've got it right. Yeah, night wig from Ellen Villa in silver blonde rooted. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.